Egos, The Upside Down, Ghostbusters, and Demi Dogs. Hey everyone, I hope you had a good Halloween. As you can tell, I spent mine binging Stranger Things 2, and I can't wait to tell you about it. The 80s nostalgia sci-fi series returns with its second season. If you remember the end of the last season, Will puked out a demi slug and saw the upside down. He clearly was in a world of hurt and the Stranger Things creators, the Duffer Brothers and director Sean Levy, do not disappoint in furthering his story. In fact, Noah Schnapp, who plays Will, shines here, as do the rest of the ensemble cast. Steve and Dustin are standouts all season, while sadly, Mike seems to take a back seat to the rest of the characters. I won't spoil how Eleven makes it back, but her story is filled with surprises, and Episode 7 is likely to be a polarizing episode for a number of reasons. Aston's character, Bob Newby, is a great introduction as Joyce Byers' love interest. He's a corny dude, but ends up being a great character who you really root for. Season two of Stranger Things ends up doing almost everything right. The characters grow, the stakes get higher, and the heartstrings get tugged pretty much every episode. During episode eight, I screamed at my TV. So it's every bit as engaging as the first season. I would even call Stranger Things season two the Empire Strikes Back of TV series. Stranger Things 2 is part Exorcist, part Jurassic Park, part Terminator, part Breakfast Club, but all heart. I give Stranger Things a... Uh... Now let's turn it over to the Wheel of Genre for next week's film. Ah, superheroes. I can't wait, but until then, you guys keep keeping it real.